According to scientists familiar with the programs, NASA's most recent moon rover looks to take design cues from a Chinese robot on Mars. This is a surprising development in a space race where China has long been branded of being the copycat. So what's the basis of this allegation? Let's find out. Hello everyone, welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we bring you the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies, space news, and the latest science and technology. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. According to Musk, the robotic rover Zhu Rong, which was given the name of the Chinese god of fire, has been exploring the red planet for nearly a year. It has an active suspension system that moves like an inchworm and enables it to lift its wheels out of sand or rocks when they become trapped. The novel design greatly improves the rover's mobility and likelihood of surviving in difficult terrain. On the other hand, Zhu Rong might soon have a copy inching its way over extraterrestrial surfaces. According to Musk, the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, or Viper, which is being developed at NASA's Ames Research Center in California, will also inchworm or move its wheels in a unique, coordinated manner that aids the rover in getting itself unstuck. The ground test for a Viper prototype equipped with this function was finished in July at NASA's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland. The rover is anticipated to be used in a 2024 mission to look for water at the South Pole of the Moon as part of the Artemis program, which is led by NASA. This design is a replica of a Chinese design, according to a space scientist in Beijing who has been closely following the projects. The Viper has four wheels but the suspension system's operation is the same as that of the six-wheeled Zhu Rong, which has a brave design that has not appeared in any prior space missions, according to the researcher, who asked to remain anonymous due to the sensitive nature of the subject. For years, the U.S. has charged China with pirating space technology. Because of worries about intellectual property theft, the White House and Congress have prohibited NASA from working with Chinese organizations or individuals. A senior NASA researcher at the Ames Research Center received a prison term of one month last year for working secretly with China. According to Musk, quantum satellites, hypersonic weapons, and the arrival of the Change 4 spacecraft on the far side of the moon are just a few of the recent advances made by China's space program. The initiatives have been influenced in part by new technology that has not yet been created or applied in the U.S. NASA is an excellent organization with lots of innovative concepts and developments, but they have experienced funding cuts, a rise in conservatism, and other issues that have made it difficult for them to adopt new technologies," said a senior researcher working on the Zhu Rong rover program in an interview on Friday. It might only be the beginning to modify Zhu Rong's idea for Viper, he suggested. In this China, a lot of innovative and fascinating technology are being developed. Future generations might need to borrow more from us," he added. According to Musk, five robotic vehicles were launched by the U.S. towards Mars. Rocker Bogey Suspension was the name of the passive suspension system employed by these rovers. Passively reacting to ground bumps, a Rocker Bogey system's arms move. The rover must rock back and forth in order to free its wheels from the trap when they become stuck using just the power of its electric motor. The inchworm, a species of moth larva typically found in woodlands and gardens, served as the model for the Beijing team's design. The inchworm propels itself ahead by lifting its middle half of the body, fastening its front legs to a surface, and dragging its back legs after it. This enables the inchworm to stretch into many forms to hide from predators and helps it avoid obstructions like leaves or twigs. Chinese researchers discovered it was feasible to construct a rover that could replicate the complex movements of an inchworm by adding just one component to a passive suspension system through computer simulations and testing. They discussed their concept in academic conferences with space researchers from other nations. The Chinese researchers predicted that the suspension, which was inspired by inchworms, would only slightly slow down the rover's top speed, but may boost traction by more than 80% enabling it to escape from a sand trap. Their design's efficacy was demonstrated by Zhu Rong's performance on Mars, Musk explained. Without any first-hand information for mission preparation, Zhu Rong was sent to Mars by China's first Mars mission, known as Tianwen-1, Musk stated. 
Tianwen-1 used other cutting-edge technology, including smart materials and artificial intelligence to accomplish this. For the purpose of finding the most accessible ice, the golf cart-sized rover will travel a distance of 20 kilometers over the course of around three months. Astronauts' long-term activities on the lunar surface could be supported by the water and other resources. By the end of 2025, the Artemis program hopes to return American astronauts to the moon and have them stay there. The mission takes place as U.S. competition with Chinese adversary in space intensifies. In a July interview with a German publication, Bill Nelson, the administrator of NASA, issued a dire warning about a Chinese takeover of the moon. According to Musk, along with building an international research center there with Russia, China also has ambitions to explore for ice near the south pole of the moon. Chinese researchers are developing a hopping device that will be able to regularly land and take off from the lunar surface in addition to delivering rovers. According to Chinese space experts, the technology might greatly boost the likelihood of discovering ice and other riches in the enormous lunar crater. The equipment's usage on a space voyage would be unprecedented. The researcher from the Zhu Rong team stated, We don't object in the least that colleagues in other nations use our ideas. Competition can be good for you, but rather than as rivals, we should compete as a team, he finally added. On the other hand, what happened to NASA's failed Mars missions that cost over $200 million? The Mars Polar Lander, a brand new and thrilling mission to Mars, was launched by NASA on January 3, 1999. The lander was joined by two smaller probes called Deep Space 2, which were intended to slam into the planet's surface quickly and analyze the soil up close. They were designed to study the soil and climate of Mars' southern pole. On December 3, 1999, the lander made its scheduled journey through space and touched down on Mars. The mission started the landing process and ascended into the atmosphere, but it lost contact after that. The mission was deemed a failure, and it was presumed that it had collided with the planet. No telemetry data were available to determine the precise cause of the incident. However, subsequent analysis revealed that sensors in the landing gear were sending out incorrect readings and that this issue was not noticed during testing. This was attributed to poor communication and a mission-specific budget that was insufficient. The Mars Polar Lander and its companion spacecraft, Deep Space 2, together accounted for $194.6 million of the mission's overall cost, according to the AP. According to the U.S. Inflation Calculator, after accounting for inflation, that would be worth nearly $340 million. The Mars Polar Lander was launched as part of a NASA initiative called Faster, Better, Cheaper, which Elizabeth A. Frank describes as an attempt to reduce bureaucracy and streamline the production of space missions. The Mars Polar Lander was also launched as part of the Mars Climate Orbiter, a mission to Mars that was lost in the 1990s. Early on, the Mars Pathfinder and Mars Global Surveyor missions were successful applications of the strategy. The failures of the Mars Polar Lander and Mars Climate Orbiter missions, which cost a combined total of about $236 million, are what people remember it for today, according to Musk. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. What do you think of this episode? Do you believe the United States copied China's Mars rover? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Please subscribe and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.